Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at recommender systems with Scikit-Learn. Let's get started. Okay, so let's go on and get started in taking a look at this again. Uh, we're going to be doing recommender systems with our movie data. Uh, so let's pull this in and let's take a look at the head of the data. So what we have here is we have a user ID, an item ID, uh, and again that that has to pertains to the title. We have a rating and we have a timestamp of when they did that. And again, these timestamps don't exactly make a whole lot of sense. They're probably um, milliseconds or something like that uh, from the time. So let's go on and start out with a basic uh, exploratory data analysis. So let's see what we want to do. Let's do df.group by here. Uh, we want to group by the title. And let me actually grab in here, I want to see df.columns so I can keep my eyes on them. Um, we're going to group it by title. And again, because if you notice here, there's going to be a lot of the same names, but we want to maybe look at the rankings, etc. cetera. Uh, and so let's, we want the ratings. Let's grab the mean off of that to aggregate. And then we want to sort the values. And let's do ascending is equal to false, uh, and then we want to look at the head. So here we have all kinds of values in there. Um, so what do we have? We're sorting the values of the mean, the average rating. So some of these have five stars. Now again, some of these may be um, because there's only one or two people that have voted for them. We don't know. We maybe will want to check that out later. Um, so let's actually go through and do it by count, okay, instead of by the mean. Uh, so let's do count in here. And notice, yeah, that definitely, again, we don't know. There may be only one or two people that voted for these. That's where they have a higher review. But then here, notice we have Star Wars with 584, Contact with uh, 509, Fargo with 508, Return of the Jedi, Liar, Liar. Um, so these are good, but we, so then we probably want to look in, maybe save, let's save some average ratings, okay, so that we can um, kind of keep, keep this information in mind. Uh, so I'm going to save the mean, I'm going to get rid of the sort values in there, and do rating, ratings, uh, and you know what, I want to turn this into a data frame, so pd.dataframe. Of this, so now we can actually look at the ratings. Dot head. Let's take a look. Okay, so then you see here um, when we look at the average ratings, we have "Till There Was You," which is two point seven. We have I don't know one nine hundred. It's two point six. Uh, and again, we can just kind of see here they're not they're not in any type of order currently right now. Uh, we also want, besides the average rating, uh, let's also get um, the number of ratings, so the count. Uh, because again, if you notice here, we, we know that, for example, you can't necessarily say that just the rating itself is actually a very important piece in that we probably have to have uh, the count because again, well, Star Wars has uh, 577, but again, this... I don't know, Shadow of Light movie has a five-star rating, but if it only has one person, then it's definitely not going to be that popular. So let's create um, a new variable, and let's call this, uh, let's just call it count. Um, and so then this would be um, pd.dataframe. And then I'm going to change this to count whoops uh, I need the equal sign in there or the assignment operator sorry uh, so now let's take a look at ratings.head in there and I'm hoping that my microphone is getting out as much of the the people mowing as possible um, all right so let's look at a histogram in here and let's do something like uh, uh, ratings dot count um, dot 
plot kind is equal to hist, uh, and let's, or you know what, we'll actually just use the hist itself. Hist, bends, and here, and let's do 70. Uh, figure size in here will be something like um, 10 by 5. Okay, uh, and so we can see here that there is a definite skew uh, in this data set, which may wind up causing us some problems. There is a significant number of, my guess is this is one singular ratings. There are very few that have these high, so Star Wars is up here. Um, so probably the mean rating number of ratings is going to be somewhere over here. Um, so let's also take a look then at the rating itself. Um, and so let's change this to rating. And so we see here that again, a lot of the, there's a lot of these one star reviews, some, um, again, a couple five star reviews, not a lot, a lot of four star reviews, but then three star is definitely the most. So again, people are saying, oh, that it's average uh, in their mind. And again, you, you do see that there are half stars and everything else in here. Uh, more likely than not, um, again, most people are just giving them a one, two, three, four, five star review. So now let's take a look and see how the rating and the number um, actually join up. So let's do a joint plot in here and let's say X is going to be our rating, Y is going to be our count, uh, data is going to be our ratings, data, and then let's give an alpha here of 0 0.5 or 0 0.6. Mm, I want it to be a little bit darker, so let's do 4. Okay, so we can see here that there is definitely uh, something going on here. There's a lot down here at this zero mark where there's not a lot of correlation. There is this upward trend, and if you notice, it's almost um, almost kind of pseudo-linear maybe, not quite. Um, so, but we can see though that there is a definite upward trend trend here at least and again you can see our histograms on either side here showing uh, what we saw before so one thing that we want to do is maybe look at um, recommending similar movies so we're going to want to maybe um, look at maybe a person's ID okay and access an individual ID to actually kind of grab everything so let's make a movie matrix um, so, for example, each cell in this would be something like, um, let's see, I want to do a pivot table here. And our index here is going to be our user ID. We want the columns to wind up being the title. And the values here is going to be a uh, rating. And so let's take a look. Uh, that didn't quite go. There's a lot of, a lot of, uh, missing values in here simply because again people didn't vote for some or they haven't seen the movie um, again uh, but we can see for example here this user one has seen um, 101 Dalmatians, 12 Angry Men, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, 20, uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey those types of things and you can see here again some people may have only voted for one item at a time um, Whoever user one is seems to vote on a lot and maybe watch a lot of movies. Um, let's go on and actually uh, save this here because we'll use it uh, later on. Um, let's also go on and talk about the most rated movies. Okay, so most rated movies in here. So we have our ratings dot sort values. Here, and we want it by the count. We want ascending to be false in here. And let's just grab um, the top, the top maybe 10. So top uh, one is Star Wars. Uh, the number 10 is Independence Day. And again, this isn't necessarily an, um, a modern data set. Okay, it's an, it's an old archive data set that 
that I am that a lot of people use to look at. Uh, so okay, that's good. Um, now there's only kind of one movie in here that actually is a comedy. I think that's a liar, liar. Uh, so let's um, let's maybe do some. Mm, what do we want to do? Let's grab just two user ratings. Let's grab Liar Liar since it's the only comedy in here. And let's grab maybe Star Wars as well. Uh, so we'll just call it Star User Rating. No, that's, that's going to be misleading. Star Wars User Rating. And so that's our uh, movie mat data. And we want... Star Wars, and we want the 1977 one. Uh, and then we want a liar user rating in here. Let's grab the movie mat, and again, we want liar, liar. We'll save those in there, and we'll, we are going to come back and use those here in, in a minute. Um, so we want maybe to grab things that are... Um, with a high correlation, okay? So let's say, what what is potentially similar to Star Wars? What things are potentially similar to Liar Liar? So let's do something like our uh, movie matrix in here, and then correlation with, and then we'll do this uh, Star Wars rating and run this. And what is it? We're getting some getting some errors in here, and don't don't worry about them right now. Um, we have here, uh, what, the highest correlation with Star Wars is Till There Was You, apparently, which is kind of strange. Um, we have, what else? Um, apparently 101 Dalmatians, Zeus and Roxanne. And again, this is, these are, these are, I find these to be a little weird. Um, but let's go on and make them make this also into a data frame so we can keep it. Uh, and what do we want with uh, with this? We'll call the columns here is going to be correlation and we'll call this um, similar to... Uh, Star Wars and let's do a whoops it's because I need to put this in as a list there we go um, let's also go on and do the same thing I'm just going to copy this we're going to change this to liar liar and we'll take a look at it here in a second uh, So let's look at similar to Liar Liar. And again, you can see here, Till There Was You. Wait a second, make sure. All right, Till There Was You, 101 Dalmatians, 12 Angry Men. Now, if you notice something, let's also do similar to Star Wars. Now, something seems a little strange, okay? They're both the same, and again, it's just because of what it looks like. Now we probably want to uh, sort these values to actually see what is the highest correlation, okay? Um, again, because these are just correlating just on what they are. Again, these are starts off with uh, some sort of numerical. Again, they're in alphabetical order. We need to look at them in order. So uh, similar to Star Wars, uh, and this is actually the correlation, so we want to do uh, sort values sort values in here and let's look at the correlation oh, and then this is lowercase c we also want um, to have in here ascending is equal to false and let's look at the top 10 or top 5 that's fine so hollow read uh, accommodations cosy no escape stripes okay um, and we can do the same thing in here to liar liar 
And so again, we're getting uh, very similar things. And then again, this is based on the rating. Um, so let's also maybe join in the numbers. Okay, I don't know. I, I know that this one's getting a little, little more in depth. Um, but again, we're not going too in depth. We're actually doing these in a more straightforward way. We're not running um, a lot of regressions in this one. We probably won't do in this uh, particular set, but we can do that in a little bit later on. So let's do another one here of, um, what do we want to actually look at here? Uh, all right, so let's do, let's call this Correlation Star Wars here, and let's do our similar to Star Wars dot join here, and we want the ratings and the count. Uh, and then let's also do the same thing then for um, Liar Liar. And let's take a look at uh, something like correlation of Star Wars. And let's grab the correlation of Star Wars again here, where the count is going to be greater than 100 dot sort values. And again, on correlation, uh, ascending is going to be is going to be false in here and let's grab the top five. Okay, so again, 100% correlation in here. And again, this is based now starting to be based on the count. Uh, notice now we're getting a really good, um, a really good following, okay, of and recommendations. So again, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And again, now that one I still find weird is Austin Powers. Um, but again, it has a very low correlation. But notice here, these top three, again, they are all in that series. So again, we can tell that this is actually doing quite a fair job at that. Um, so the next thing that we can do is let's do the same thing for Liar Liar. And uh, let's do over 100. And actually, we'll just copy this whole section here. Okay, so again, we have, again, slightly strange, um, except not quite because these first, again, all of these three here have uh, Jim Carrey in them. So it's more likely that it's actually picking up that it's Jim Carrey. Um, and people are a fan of his uh, his movies. I don't think he's in Down Periscope. I know he's not in Con Air. Um, and so this this is a very rudimentary way, and uh, again, a little bit of a intensive way of doing um, a a recommender system. 